Duke, you are doing great. Yeah, well, that's thanks to you, Amy, and, and Miss Walker. Well, you're probably not ready to tango yet, but give it another time. Hi, Anna. Hello, Anna. You look at this. You're off and walking and everything. Where are you going? Ah, uh, you better ask Amy. She's in charge. Brazil, or the nurse's station, whichever comes first. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll race you there. I'll let you in. <sighs> hey, Robin must be very excited about, about Christmas Eve. Oh, she is. She's she's just bursting with it, or she can't stop talking about it. Yeah, I'm pleased that, that Robert's staying over for Christmas. Storm. Well, looking good, Duke. <laughs> hey, that's quite a sight. Isn't he looking great? It's just great. Congratulations. No, it is the other way around. I'm very grateful to the General Hospital team, which made all of this possible. Thank you. Does that include me? Oh, you know it, oh, well, isn't it a thrill to see a patient make it back? Oh, it really is, Mrs. Hardy. Yes, it is a thrill. Um, listen, Buzz. Hmm? Yes, Anna. Are you going to be able to come over to my house tonight for Christmas Eve? You and Sandy, please. We'll be there. Great. Mm -hmm. All of Robin's godfathers are going to be there, so it should be kind of special. Uh, and while we're talking about that, Steve and Audrey, you will be at the quarter range this evening? Oh, we wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> well, Edward, I believe, has told Lila he would not talk about general hospital business, but I wouldn't count on Oh, don't you worry yeah. about it. Steve and I understand. Uh -huh. Good. A uh, bus, would you care to make a round for me? Be happy to. Uh -huh. See you later, Sandy. Yes, it's time for our Good last work, Duke. Yeah. Come along. Thank you. Bye-bye. Come on, girls. <laughs> well, Duke, it's good to see you on your feet again. Why, thank you. It looks wonderful. Certainly does. Well, the clinic is closed. I'm off to pack a suitcase. Maybe what do you say we walk over to the lounge? Alan. Oh, Monica, I didn't notice you. Where are you going? I think I told you. You're going to go to Paw Talk and make a fool of yourself. I'm going to Paw Talk where I'm appreciated. Well, it'll be a fine Christmas for your sons. I'm going to spend Christmas morning and the afternoon with my sons. And then I'm going to spend the rest of Christmas with the woman I love. Oh, please. Merry Christmas, Tony. Merry Christmas, Alan. So, uh, what have we got here? Uh, a long distance runner. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, Tony. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Tony. <laughs> Isn't he looking great? Sure sign of good nursing. Listen, oh. I'm going to take over right now. I okay. want to get you to your room so I can do an examination. There's nothing wrong, is there? No. And uh, walking should be no problem at all in a couple of weeks. Oh, just in time to stand trial. That subject is for both. We're going to have a wonderful Christmas. That's right. Just wait till you hear those children sing Christmas carols. It's, it's really a treat. Yeah, that's what I hear. Well, the most important thing for me this Christmas is that Anna and Robin have a wonderful holiday. You will. Robin's in heaven, you know. You're getting better. She's having all her godfathers over tonight. And her father's here for Christmas, so she's really pleased. I love hearing about Scottish Christmases. Why don't you tell me about some of your Christmases in England? Um, well, I only remember one or two, really. You know, uh, my parents died when I was very young, and then, of course, I got sent to Canada and lived with my aunt and uncle. And then Christmases were very, very sparse. Well, ours were not exactly lavish, but my mother had a great deal of love, and that, that made up for it. Yeah. This is the season for love and hope, isn't it? I can't wait till we have a Christmas when you're better and we're together and we trim the tree. Robin. Oh, she is flying. The child's feet are not on the floor. It's wonderful. Whenever I'm near her, she really makes me feel very warm. You must think only of this Christmas, then. Yeah. I can't help it, though. I, you know, I do think ahead, of course. Well, I'm living only for this moment and tomorrow. And I'm going to tell you something. What? I have a mission. Mm -hmm. I'm very determined that tomorrow I will walk without my walker so I can watch Robin lead the Christmas parade. Come in. Hi, Uncle Hello. Hey, how are you doing, Mike? Hey, good. How are you? Hi. Look at... These cookies are made from Grandma's Scottish shortbread. She's put her heart and soul into that, I tell you. Uh, really mean that. Daddy said I could wear my kilts for the parade tomorrow. But he said that I shouldn't 
try to play Christmas carols with my bagpipes. I think that that's absolutely a very good idea. You shouldn't. Could I carry them? Robert? Well, all right, but nary a peep out of them, all right? <laughs> all right. You know, I think it's unfortunate these people do not appreciate the beauty of bagpipe music. I sure don't. Uh, listen, I think that uh, if we're going to go ice skating, we should endeavor to do it before it's done. Hi, everybody. Hey, we dropped by. Merry, merry, merry. Thank you. Some Christmas cheer. It looks like there's quite a bit around here already. Eh? <laughs> Merry well, Christmas. Thank you. This is wonderful. It's a beautiful day, isn't it?